Hello there. This is just a disc, and we talk about Blu-rays here. My name is Brian, and today I'm going to talk to you about a couple Warner Archive cartoon Blu-ray releases, and I'm going to offer some pairings to go with them. Uh, and some of these pairings are going to be on DVD because uh, I'm pairing with other animated stuff uh, from Warner Brothers, Warner Archive, actually. Uh, and a lot of the stuff that I love that I think works with these hasn't made it to Blu-ray yet. So we're going to have a little exception in today's video, but let's start with this. Very excited about this. Thundar the Barbarian, the complete series. Uh, Ruby Spears animated series, 462 minutes of amazing Thundar action. And... Um, <laughs> I, I'm just reading the back here, and it, it reminds me of the the opening of the show, which this is a series that I used to see. I was a cartoon junkie, and I still kind of am. And I would watch cartoons from like six in the morning till noon in my prime on Saturdays when they used to run cartoons on Saturday mornings. I'd just sit there in front of the TV for six hours watching cartoons. And I'm such a junkie that on Sunday I would even try to watch cartoons but they wouldn't have much. They had the Sunday leftovers, as I like to call it. Um, but then there were some gems in those leftovers, and Thundar the Barbarian was one of those Sunday morning gems. It was one of those shows that I discovered kind of by accident, just watching cartoons, looking for cartoons on a Sunday. And I started watching it, and I absolutely fell in love with it. And so it has become sort of a nostalgia favorite for me for years. And I was very excited when it came out on DVD, but this Blu-ray, folks, I mean, I've said it before. I've talked about the animated efforts of Warner Archive and their Blu-rays, and they're always great, and this is no exception. These masters look wonderful. Um, the episodes look very, very good. Uh, I was just going to read the back. Uh, Civilization is cast in ruin when a runaway planet speeds between the Earth and the moon, unleashing cosmic destruction. 2,000 years later, Earth is reborn from the ashes with a savage landscape, strange creatures, and a primitive sense of justice. But one man fights to spread peace throughout the land. Uh, he is Thundar the Barbarian, and you can own all 21 exciting adventures starring Thundar and his companions Ukla the Mach and sorceress Princess Ariel. Using their strength and courage and wits, plus Thundar's magical sun sword, they journey from village to village, liberating slaves and battling all kinds of beasts, mutants, wizards, thieves, and robots. The future of Earth may be shrouded in darkness, but Thundar the Barbarian bursts into action as a shining symbol of hope for humanity. I just thought he was a real bad dude. Uh, in terms of his abilities as a fighter, he wears his you know fur outfit, and the sun sword, which he tucks on his wrist um, bracelet, was very much... Uh, I mean, the whole thing obviously gave huge Star Wars vibes. You have your Sun Sword, which is very much a lightsaber. Ugla the Mach is very much like a Wookiee uh, in a lot of ways. And so it was like He-Man before He-Man and Star Wars and super science and sorcery. Um, just a really entertaining fantasy show that I just love. And I put it on for my uh, kids the other night and just as sort of a I was checking it out and they started to get hooked into it, which is cool. I love it when a show can transcend time and still appeal to young people, and I think this one still does. So um, what's really great about this, though, is it includes, well, you've got three discs to do the complete series, right? Uh, but it has this featurette, Lords of Light, the story of Thundar the Barbarian, which is really cool. Like, I'd never known much in terms of background uh, about the show and I just love the little extras that they've been including on their cartoon sets. They, they just tend to include either some kind of TV documentary or a featurette like this and it's great to get some background on old cartoon favorites like this one for me. So a really nice set, the Thunder of the Barbarian set. I'll get to my second Blu-ray in a second but first Let's talk about what I would pair with Thundar. And I'll start with the DVD of the Herculoids. This is the Hanna-Barbera Classic Collection. Um, I don't even know if this is Warner Archive proper. 
I feel like it was at the time, but it doesn't say Warner Archive on it. Um, <clears throat> but the Herculides, all about um, somewhere out in deep space and out of the creative imagination of the aces of Hanna-Barbera Studios, live the Herculoids. Humanoid Xandar, along with his wife Tara and son Dorno, lead a group of unique creatures. Zok, the flying dragon, uh, powerful simian uh, uh, Igu, uh, who possesses rock-like skin. Uh, that's the ape guy. Uh, oh, I guess you can see him all in the front there. Uh, then you have a rhinoceros hybrid, Tundro, and two protoplasmic wonders named Gloop and Gleep. Together they use their device, diverse super strengths to defend their utopian planet against attack from such sinister vaders as the pod creatures, the reptons, and the mutoids. Um, yeah, this is just another nostalgic favorite. I can't remember where I first saw the Herculoids. It might have been as part of um, USA's Cartoon Express. Uh, I feel like they had some kind of package deal where they were picking up a bunch of Hanna-Barbera shows and they'd package them together in an hour-long thing. Um, but I always loved all the family and the creatures, and this one is just a lot of fun. I feel like the adventureness of it uh, and the creatures, too, somehow lines up with Thundar. I think it would be a good match. And then one more uh, from that same collection, uh, Valley of the Dinosaurs. This is more of a straight... It's not like the Flintstones because it's more like Land of the Lost as a cartoon, basically. Um, during, well, it is, really. During a rafting excursion uh, of an uncharted river canyon, Professor John Butler, wife Kim, kids Katie and Greg, and the family dog Digger get caught up in a mysterious whirlpool and resurface in a world of prehistoric creatures. Now every day is an exercise in survival for the adventurous Butler family. They befriend a helpful cave-dwelling family, and together they must contend with an angry brontosaurus, a dangerous saber-toothed tiger, and don't forget the earthquakes and volcanoes. Um, so this is a 16-episode, two-disc set. And yeah, this is just a, another one that... I don't know if I saw this one as much as I had heard of it and I'd gotten a bootleg of it. And then this really nice release came out. And yeah, I mean, it looks kind of like a more... like a flintstone kind of thing. But... Um, it's a little more dramatic than that, obviously, and more realistic in terms of the characters and the drawings of the characters. But I always remember enjoying this one, and it does feel like akin to Thundar. And, um, yeah, I think I'm going to skip that. Uh, let's get into our next Blu-ray. We have Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space, the complete series. Again, this looks wonderful on Blu-ray. All the episodes here and... Uh, it's a 16-episode, two-disc set. And uh, let's see. Rock stars Josie and the Pussycats are out of this world, literally. When the bumbling Alexandra accidentally launches Josie and the gang into outer space, they travel through the galaxy searching for a path back to Earth. Along the way, they meet cat people, robot monsters, evil dictators, space pirates, and plenty of strange creatures, including their new companion, Bleep, voiced by Hanna-Barbera legend Don Messick of course, did Scooby-Doo, among other things. Uh, fortunately, everyone's a fan of Josie and the Pussycats, including aliens. Rocking, rocket through the universe with your favorite superstars as they save the day, sing some songs, and have a hip happening good time. Um, yeah, uh, I'm just a fan of these old Hanna-Barbera cartoons. All of them appeal to me on one level or another. And this is, you know, very much a Scooby-Doo type show. Uh, you have a lot of the same voices. You have similar character types. Um, but yeah, this would also pair with Thundar, to be honest, just in terms of the outer space-ness of her, the sci-fi and the aliens and things that they encounter. Um, but it's just goofy fun, you know, at the end of the day. And so if you're into Josie and the Pussycats, uh, I would also obviously remember re to recommend the complete series of just straight up regular Josie and the Pussycats, which also looks really good. Um, this one doesn't have anything in the way of uh, features, but it, you do get all 16 episodes and they look really, really good. So I highly recommend picking up Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space. This one has the ir irresistible charm of Dan DiCarlo, the man and his art, which is a really cool little featurette thing 
as along the lines of what I was talking about with Thundar and the other ones. So that's recommended if you like Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space. And of course, Space Ghost and Dino Boy. Uh, this could also go with Thundar. In fact, this is probably a better recommendation to go with Thundar. And I should have brought it out during that section. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, you know, Space Ghost and Jan and Jace and uh, Dino Boy, which is, uh, it's a showcasing the episodes in the three segment form as they originally aired these stellar retro hits soar through space and time to deliver justice. Uh, first intergalactic policeman space ghost navigates the cosmos and his tricked out spaceship, the phantom cruiser battling villains like Brack and Zorak and his legendary suit and powerful wristbands. Then dino boy teams with caveman Ugg and dinosaur Bronte to go primeval on the ancient, uh, menaces of their primitive home and finally space ghost flies again with more extraterrestrial adventures and thrilling takedowns this dynamite compilation also features the dynamic six-part space ghost episode the council of doom uh, and this also features a feature-length profile simplicity the life and art of alex toth who obviously is behind space ghost and stuff so really great set. Again, I think I would bump this back to recommend it going with Thundar. That would be what you should do. Uh, also could go with Thundar or um, Josie and the Pussycats in Space. Space Stars. And I do hope uh, this gets a Blu-ray at some point because um, this is like an all-star team-up. Again, you can see you have Space Ghost, you have the Herculoids, you have uh, some other folks let me read you the back here. As the entire world went space action crazy at the end of the 70s, Hanna-Barbera reconvened its sci-fi superstars, Space Ghost, and the Herculides for another round of adventures. Joining the 60s sci-fi faves in their interstellar battle against evil were newcomers Teen Force and Astro and the Space Mutts. So you have the Teen Force up there and Astro and the Space Mutts down there. Um... But there's more to the story to know before you blast off in adventures as big as the Cosmo itself. Um, get ready to enjoy Space Stars, complete with the recently uncovered, never-before-seen space science segments restored in all their educational glory. Race to learn space magic tricks with Blip. Uh, streak to learn space facts from Space Ace. A rock out to the synth wonder of the space mix. Solve space mysteries in deep space with Teen Force and join the Herculates to crack the space code. Uh, they're back for the first time ever. So this is really cool because they have sort of reconstructed the original episodes, which again is sort of a variety hour type show where you watch adventures from the various uh, folks involved. And Teen Force in particular was one that I always uh, enjoyed a lot. But I already like Space Ghost and the Herculoids. And so this is just kind of fun repackaging redo with new adventures for all involved and it's highly recommended to go with your either uh, Josie and the Pussycats in Outer Space or your Thundar Blu-ray. Uh, anyway, that will do it for this round talking about Warner Archive. Uh, if you like Warner Archive, let me know what you like. Do you like their animated Blu-rays? Do you like their classic film stuff? Do you like, you know, their comedies? Their, they've done a few slasher movies. What do you like from Warner Archive? Um, have you checked out these cartoon Blu-rays? And what did you think? Because I really do believe they look fantastic and they have yet to disappoint me with one of their cartoon releases. So uh, I just wanted to talk about them and offer some ideas for things to watch with them. Um, but thank you all for watching. Please like this video if it is something you enjoy and subscribe to the channel if I'm doing things that you're into. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.